In this problem, we're given a system of equations and we're given a point and we're being asked to determine if this is actually a solution to the system. So this will be a solution if it's a solution to every single equation. So let's just go ahead and plug it into every single one and see if they're all true. So if they're all true, it's a solution. If even one of them fails, then it's not a solution. Let's do it over here. Let's check the first one. So x is 4, y is minus 7, and then z is 7. And this should be equal to 4. So these cancel, so 4 is equal to 4. So the first one checks, right? So we plug in 4 minus 7 plus 7. The 7s cancel, 4 equals 4, it checks. Let's check this one. I'll do it down here. So 4 minus 2 times y. y is negative 7 minus 2 times z, which is 7. And this should be equal to 11. Again, we're checking this one. We have 4 minus 2 times negative 7 minus 2 times 7. So far, so good. So 4, negative and negative is 14. Uh, is positive, so we have positive 14. And then here it's minus 14. And this is 11. Oh, look at this. 4 equals 11. So the answer is no, right? Because it has to be a solution to every single one in order for it to be a solution. So the answer to this question is no. This point is not a solution to the system of equations. Again, it would have to be a solution to every single one in order for the answer to be yes.